of large-scale video installation, often in unexpected locations. Okay, the US presidential candidates have been campaigning for months. Now we have to wait for the voters to decide. Will President Obama win a second term or can Governor Romney unseat him and take the keys to the White House? Join BBC World News right here for live coverage on Election Day. For an in-depth on the pulse analysis with a global perspective, join me, Yogita Lemay, on India Business Report every Sunday as we bring you the week's top economic stories right from the heart of India's financial capital only on BBC World News. The bottom line is the business conversation program for those who are nationals in business. You will find it interesting even if you are, but it's really for anyone who wants to know what makes business tick. So why not join me, Evan Davis, for the bottom line here on BBC World News. Mexico City is the capital of my heart. It's the example of security, honesty, and the effort Mexican people are making to ensure that things get better and better. We are a happy country with a lot of problems, but it doesn't matter. We're doing well. Electricity, one of the big technology enablers, yet one in five people on the planet still don't have access to it. Making it more accessible to a billion people is a real challenge. Join me, Simon Mawson, as we look at the answers. That's Horizons on BBC World News. For the first time in human history, more than half of us live in cities. Across the world, cities are gaining over one million people every week. Vibrant, complex, colossal. What drives their success? From 12 great cities around the globe, this is One Day In, continues on BBC World News. The China news now as much of the eastern United States tries to deal with super storm Sandy. Let's take you live to New York. The mayor, Michael Bloomberg, is just giving a press conference this moment. To people in need, we need to keep the roads clear. Do not drive. Let me repeat that. Please do not drive. We have now sent a message to all taxi and limo and livery drivers get off the roads immediately. Uh, as I said earlier, the time to leave has passed. Do not go outside. It is still... You need to stay wherever you are. Let me repeat that. You have to stay wherever you are. So don't call 911 unless it is a life-threatening emergency. You're not going to get better service, and you're just keeping others who may have a real... America counts the cost as Superstorm Sandy leaves a trail of destruction. Have room for one more? Ah. You all right? At least 40 people have been killed, millions are without power, and thousands of homes are still flooded. In other news, the Empire strikes back. Disney buys the rights to the Star Wars saga and brings a new hope to fans wanting a seventh film. And it's 500 years since Michelangelo finished his masterpiece, but is 20,000 visitors per day too much for the Sistine Chapel? Welcome to BBC World News. I'm Peter Dobby. And I'm Alice Vance to coming up later in World Business Report. Wall Street reopens after its longest shutdown since 9 11. And Portugal's parliament votes on unprecedented tax rises for next year's budget. Welcome to the program. Our top story, the massive cleanup operation is...
headlines from BBC World News. Now the latest financial news in World Business Report. Hello and a very warm welcome to... Hello and a very warm welcome to World Business Report with me, Alice Baxter. Pain today or pain tomorrow? The dilemma facing Portugal's parliament as it votes on controversial tax rises. Open for business, US financial markets resume trading as people count the cost of Superstorm Sandy. Hello there. Portugal's parliament is set to vote on...